Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. My name is Adam and welcome to our Sunday video. And you guys know our Sunday videos are normally a little bit different than the rest of our videos through the week. This is the video we focus on like cooking, recipes, our health journey, keto, that kind of stuff. And sometimes it can be difficult for these videos to feel fun. I'm just going to say it. They can be informative, they can be inspiring, but they're not always fun. And this video, you guys, I'm so excited about because this to me feels fun because today we are making something that I'm really, really excited about. We're making something that I think Sherry is even more excited about because today I'm going to try to make keto gummy bears. Now you guys know gummy bears are one of Sherry's absolute all time favorite treats. And we've tried a couple of the different like keto store bought gummy bears and honestly, Mwah, mwah, just like not good at all. And so I found this keto gummy bear ver uh, recipe online and I decided, you know what? Let's try to make it. But you know what? We're gonna make it even more fun because I am gonna make five different flavors. We are going to blindfold Sherry and have her guess which is which. I'm super, super excited about this. And honestly, the recipe looks easy. Now, I've never made homemade gummy bears before, so fingers crossed I don't botch this whole thing. Um, but let me show you what I think we need for this. So here are the things that we are gonna need for this recipe. Now, you guys, the Lug Life community are amazing because you guys sent us these. These like homemade silicone gummy bear molds. Look at that. We've been looking for a reason to make them perfect reason. So what we're gonna need are the molds, the little eyedroppers to put like the mixture in there. Now for the mixture, it's actually just gonna be three things. It's gonna be sugar-free jello, it's going to be gelatin, like this unflavored gelatin, and then it's going to be boiling water. Now, Sherry's upstairs listening, so I am not going to say the flavors of these I bought because she will know, but here's my plan. I have four flavors, and then I'm going to do a fifth flavor, which is a combination of those. At the end of this video, we're gonna blindfold her. We're gonna have her try these four, as well as the secret combination flavor. And we're going to see if she can guess these different flavors. So there's flavor number one. There is flavor number two. There is flavor number three. And there is flavor number four. So we also have, we have all that stuff. We have some mixing bowls. I've got like a uh, fork that I'm gonna like whisk stuff with. So I think that is what we need. Now I am going to put a link down below in the video description to the recipe that I found online that I am following for this. Again, I've never made gummy bears. Um, I have no clue if this is gonna work. It seems like it probably will. It looks super simple. All that we're gonna do is like mix stuff up together put them in the molds and then refrigerate the molds for like 40 minutes and then we have gummy bears? Like, is it really that easy to make gummy bears? Uh, well, we're gonna find out together. These boxes of sugar-free uh, Jello mix are 0.6 ounces. Now, we only need 0.3 ounces. So, what I'm going to do is use half a box of this and then in here, there are four envelopes of the gelatin. I'm going to use two envelopes. So it'll be two envelopes, half a box of this, and then one third cup water. And I'm gonna do that for each of our flavors. You can see I've got our teapot on the stove over here, getting our water boiling. Flavor number one, we're gonna put about half the bag in there like that. And then two packs of the unflavored gelatin. And then it says to mix that all up until it's all mixed together. And just so you know, I'm gonna do one flavor at a time because I honestly don't trust myself to not get the flavors mixed up. And <laughs> I kinda need to know which flavor is which. So, oh geez, oh gosh, okay. Uh, okay, well I guess that's good. You guys, leave it to me while making gummy bears to burn down the house. What was that? All, literally all I'm doing is boiling water and there's like a fire. This is why we shouldn't have a cooking YouTube. Wow, now back to mixing. Sherry has got to be upstairs wondering what in the heck I am doing. Now that that is mixed, I have one third cup boiling water. I'm gonna dump that in there and then I'm gonna whisk this 
until it is all mixed up and all of that is dissolved. Kind of looks like blood, a little bit gross. And then what you're supposed to be able to do is take this dropper. Oh yeah, <gasps> that actually kind of worked. Oh geez, stop doing that, oh gosh. And then we're just gonna fill these up, up there. Whoa, you guys, it's actually kind of working. I'm probably as surprised, if not more, than you are. Oh geez, oh gosh, that's not good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go fill up as many of these as this will fill. Flavor number one, finished. So what I'm gonna do is go get the rest of all of these done and put in there, and then I'll pick you guys back up so you can see it. You guys, I was so confident going into this. Um, I was like, you know what, this is gonna be simple. This is easy. It's just like three ingredients and mix it up and put it in the fridge. Um, I've almost set the kitchen on fire, and I just did the lime one, and I was only supposed to use half of the lime sugar-free jello pack. I actually used the whole thing, and so I tasted it, and I was like, why is this so strong? You guys, doing great. Doing really good. I have most of them done, and what I just did is I finished our secret flavor. And this secret flavor combination, just so you guys know, is strawberry and orange. So this one, strawberry and orange, is gonna be our combo. So we have one flavor there, one flavor there, one flavor there. I'm gonna put the last flavor here, our combo, then we're gonna put these in the fridge. All right, all of the flavors are done, and I think, like, I think they look pretty good. Now, we have to put them in the fridge for about 30 to 40 minutes and let them set up. And now that they're in the fridge, I have to deal with the next issue that I <laughs> did not think of. Oh boy, so we are having some hot water issues here in our home. Uh, it's something to do with like the HOA right now. We had a plumber out here on Friday for a couple of hours, couldn't figure it out. The latest word is that it might not be till Tuesday until we have like really hot water. We get like lukewarm water, but not like hot water. Here's the problem is there's a little bit left in each of these bowls. And this is because of the gelatin just like so thick. I can't just put this down the drain with like lukewarm water. I'm afraid it's going to like stop up the drain. What do I do? So I think my plan is to like hand wash these using like boiling water. Obviously I'll let it cool down a little bit, but like I don't have like hot enough water to dissolve the gelatin to clean up this recipe. What is going on? I got too confident. I got too confident. So while that is in there cooling down and setting up, I'm gonna go figure out how in the heck I am going to clean up. Not to brag, but I did it. All of the dishes are clean. I used the rest of that boiling water and um, I'm pretty proud of myself. So I just took these out of the fridge. Um, they feel honestly like perfect. I haven't tried to take one out yet, but as far as like what I feel like they should feel like in there, Gosh, I think that's amazing. Let's see if this actually works. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. That is perfect. What? Like, oh my goodness. These came out <laughs> so much better than I expected. So I have them lined up in order of how I want Sherry to taste them. Now, she's not gonna know what the flavors are. She doesn't even know what flavors I bought. I'm super curious to know how many of these she is able to guess. I'm also curious to know if these are even any good. But even though I almost burned the kitchen down, even though I added way too much flavor on one of them, even though um, we didn't have hot water to clean up the gelatin, I'm really happy with how these turned out. Now, let's get Sherry, let's go test them. I'm so excited. Sherry, I haven't talked about this, Sherry is not excited about this idea. No. But why? Because I am terrible at like figuring out what flavors are. <laughs> like you could give me an actual strawberry and I'd be like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> like if I don't see it, I have no idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suck at this just so we're clear. I believe in you though. But here's the thing, this video needed something, right? Other than me just making a recipe that has like three ingredients, uh, but also I accidentally almost burned down the kitchen. 
while you're upstairs Great. by boiling water. I was filming and I just heard like, I turned around and it's like just flames. Super cool. <laughs> Um, it's not, I no. actually did not hear any of that. I had my AirPods in and I was listening to the Cruella soundtrack. Be, of course you were. <laughs> because I didn't want Sherry to hear these flavors. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to, um, Sherry's going to cover her eyes. Yep. I'm going to give her. You keep that covered because I can actually see. Oh, <gasps> did you just cheat? No. Whoa. I can see out of the corner of my eye. Whoa. So I'm away. Just keep it covered. If you don't want me to see. Okay, Cheetah McCheats a lot. Oh my lord. Are you ready? Yeah. Flavor number one. You can smell, you can't look, but you can smell them or taste them. It's in your hand. So give it a. Oh, it actually feels like a gummy. Bear. I, I'm so like, excited for you to see them after this is over. Okay. I'm so excited for you to see them. Okay, so that's your sniffer. No idea? No idea. Okay. Um, your guess, after you taste it, go ahead and taste it. I'm curious to know the consistency though. Does it have the consistency of a gummy bear? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Ish? Is it good at all? <laughs> oh no. Do you have a flavor guess? Maybe. You might have a flavor guess. Maybe. Okay, let me let me hear your flavor guess. Can I open my eyes? Um, you can open your eyes, yes. Something red. Cherry? Oh, it is something red. It is not cherry. Okay. So should I tell you what that one was? No. We'll keep going. Okay, here's the next one. You can give it a sniff if you want. I do have two of each of them on here, just oh, so that I... that one's strong. That one's strong. You know that one? I might know this one. Wow, okay. Let's see. This is the one, just so you guys know, and Sherry, just so you know, uh, I accidentally put the entire package of flavoring in there when I was only supposed to use half the package. So this is the... If... <laughs> no, I can tell, but I think I know what this is. You do? Let me hear a guess. Lime. Wow! Sherry. It was good and strong and it's hitting me. Is right it here? Is it good? It is good. Ooh. I actually wonder if you should maybe just use the whole packet and all of them. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, you ready yeah. for number three? Ugh. Okay. Sniffing that one. Okay. <laughs> now put that one up to your sniffer. It came pre-smelled by me. Oh good. So that's a good, that's a pre-smell. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have a guess after the sniff? No. No guess. I'm curious to know if you have a guess after the taste. Because to me, knowing what each of them is, I'm like, oh yeah, they does smell like that. Ooh, maybe? Maybe not. If you had to guess. Strawberry? Ding, ding, ding! Strawberry! Oh, yay. Okay. Sherry, I'm not going to be good at this. <laughs> you ready for number four? Hand out? Uh, Pre how many did you make? Pre well, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Oh, okay. Oh, I just looked. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm going to guess this one's orange. Sorry! I'm sorry. Did you try it? Yeah. And how does it taste? It actually tastes like orange. Would you have known that it was orange without that? Yes. That's like the the, the best cheaty way. Whoops. Sorry. No, I would have known that one. That one actually it kind of tastes like orange juice. Ooh. Okay. Uh -huh. So you've guessed three out of the four. Okay, I'm not gonna look at this one. But hold on, you can open your eyes for a second because this one is a tricky one. Oh no. This is a con. This is the last one. It is a combination. Oh, that's rude. I combined two of the flavors that we have that you've already tasted. You ready? No. Well, there you go. So I need you to tell me what two flavors you think are combined to make this last one. You get a point for each flavor you guess correctly. And just so you know, for the game, there's a total of six possible points. You already have three. Is orange one of them? Orange is one of them. Okay, I taste that. Okay. No idea what the other one is. I guess there's only three other flavors that it could possibly be. <laughs> yeah, but I missed the first one, so I don't know what that one is. Okay. Um, I don't lime. I don't know. I'm literally throwing. It is strawberry orange. Okay. So I wouldn't have gotten that. I, I tasted the orange. You got four out of six. What was the first one? Raspberry. Mm -hmm. Now. Thinking of raspberry, I want you to smell that. Oh, yeah. Right? And then taste it. Not all of it. Okay, because I didn't get to try that one. No, you don't have a tray? I do have an entire tray of mother. That's true. Now, I want to try them. The lime one? Mm hmm. Mmm. Okay. The consistency is better than I expected. It's still a little. It's more jello than gummy bear. Mm hmm. But it's like a hard jello. That's a weird thing. It's a hard jello, but it's not hard enough. 
for like a gummy bear. Gummy bears take some work. You got to get them chomper muscles going on the gummy bears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are like good. Yeah, they're in between a jello and a and like a hard gummy. Yo, that lime flavor where I used the whole pack. Not bad. Not bad at all. This one is strawberry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I should use the whole pack of all of them. Yeah. I can already tell. Yeah. Well, we Dang know for next time. And we have a lot more trays. That's orange. Okay. So you can tell it one's orange, even though I, I cheated. You could actually, I could have tell, like, I could have known. You could have told. I could have told. You could have told that was orange. <laughs> and then the last one, the mix. strawberry orange. You get the orange. Yeah. The orange overpowers their flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you can't so, really taste the strawberry. Mm -mm. <laughs> now we have some questions. Okay. You are a, a huge gummy bear aficionado. You really are. Yeah. Um, a couple, a couple questions. Number one, as far as the flavor of these, flavors were good. One of my arguments against gummy bears is that I don't feel like they have very strong flavors. Like the flavors tend to be more subtle and like just not strong enough. Yeah, What'd I you, think on some. What would you think of the flavors of these? I thought these were good. Yeah. Aside from like once you told me it was raspberry, I was like, this is obviously raspberry. Yeah. Um. I could tell that it was something red, but I honestly didn't know if it was cherry or like raspberry or strawberry or like I I didn't know. I knew it was like, oh, well, this is a red flavor. That was my that was my favorite. What flavor is this? Red. Red. <laughs> so funny. Um. So yes, you actually were correct. Right. On the consistency, not bad. Not bad. Um. Like I will eat them. Mm -hmm. They are keto, which they is great. Are keto, which so, is really nice. This is my this is my question. You are on keto. You're craving gummy bears. You want just like your your city in your chair you're under a blanket kind of snack read my book you're reading your book if you went to these do you think it would satisfy your craving for gummy bears i think so i think i want to try um playing with the recipe a little bit and okay. just try to get them a little bit harder mm -hmm. um the consistency is a little bit weird like it's it's like a hard jello mm -hmm. um that's a good but way it's to put not it. like a gummy um so i would i want to play with that a little bit but taste wise and like texture and like i mean i think it would satisfy my my gummy cravings i'm really happy with how they turned out when you saw them the look of them what yeah, do you think they they looked like gummy bears i was um you never really know with like molds molds totally. like if it's gonna actually look like that and these really did I, how hard was the little dropper thing to use um okay so this is the other part of this experiment because you were upstairs with your headphones in uh we don't currently have hot water Oh, that's right. And this gelatin in the bowl and in the dropper gets pretty hard pretty quick. And so when I would like but finish... But you couldn't heat water on the stove? Too. No, so I heated water for the boiling water. Mm -hmm. But like you would want to normally have the hot water in the sink going, rinse this out really good, rinse the bowl out really good, kind of clean it, mm. rinse out the dropper. But we didn't have hot water. So what I had to do at the end was like fill the sink with leftover boiling water and like clean all the bowls that way. So the dishes are done. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's the other upside to this. <laughs> Honestly, to me, this was not as hard as I thought it was gonna yeah. be. Uh, I had some snafus, as they all saw, but next time I did this, it would be so simple. Yeah, so we actually had this conversation on the way home from the valley today um, that I should maybe do the making of it and then he should be the, the taste tester. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I wasn't sure how he would do with like the details. So, of, so here's my question: like, the droppers and that kind of stuff. How did I do? I think you did great. She thinks I did great. She did a good job. Babe. She thinks I did great. I think you are great. What? Now you're just flirting, and this is about gummy bears, not flirting. Um, <laughs> this was kind of fun. I'm so glad we did it this way. Uh, again, this video needed something more than just like making three ingredient gummy bears. Thank okay. you for playing along because I know that you were not stoked at this idea. But you did great. I, well, you know, I, as you saw, like red is not actually a flavor, and that's that's all I got. You guessed all of the other ones right. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Is that better than you expected to do? Better than I expected to do. I honestly expected it to be like red, green. Like I don't know what this flavor is, but lime. Lime. Lime was the you green. Could, you could definitely tell that it was lime. And then there was only one that you cheated on and looked. So friends, this was a ton of fun. Thanks yeah. for watching. Again, again no, no, no justification for the cheating here. We all saw it. Um, again, I'm going to put the link down below to this recipe. The only thing I would change from that recipe is I think add the whole package yellow. Yeah. Because the lime, it is a stronger flavor. It is a strong flavor, but I, 
I didn't hate it. Like, I mean, I like sour things anyway, but I, I do feel like it was lime. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't just like, I think this is, which is where a lot of, I think gummies fall. Agreed. So this was a ton of fun. So glad we did this one. What a blast. Um, friends, why don't know in the comments below, how did this go better than you expected? <laughs> did you expect me to nearly burn down the kitchen boiling water? Because that happened. Um, but at the end, of, it's fine. Sherry, we have insurance. But at the end of the day, uh, I think the gummy bears turned out better than I hoped, better than I thought. And the nice thing is that now, Sherry, we have gummy snacks back on keto. I'm pretty excited about that. Friends, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, recipe down below. Let us know your comments on how you think this video went, and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video.